once you get to like a, the only problem with FOIL on a problem like this is FOIL represents first, outer, inner, last. Well, when you have a trinomial, you can't, I mean, you can do the first terms, you can do the outer terms, but the inner, you got to multiply that 3x times both of them. So it gets a little bit more confusing. What's, hot, what's helpful, I'd recommend, if you want to apply distributive property way, you're multiplying basically the 1 times all three of these. Then you write down the product for each of those. And then you do the x squared times all of those. However, as I mentioned, my preferred way is just to write a box. One of my lengths has two rows, two terms, so I'm going to have two rows. The other one has three terms, so I'll have three columns. Then you just do x squared minus 3x plus 2 x plus 1. Now, since I've broken it down into little areas, now I just need to find the area of each little box. So I have x cubed, negative 3x squared, 2x, x squared, negative 3x, positive 2. <coughs> and again, so what's nice about this, since it's organized into these little boxes, you guys can see now your like terms. The reason why they're like terms, even though they all have x's, the reason why they're like terms is because their powers are the same. So now I can just combine them. I don't have anything with the x cubed, so I just write out x cubed. x squared plus a negative 3x squared is a negative 2x squared. Negative 3x plus 2x is going to be, again, a negative x, and then plus 2. So the box method basically 